Revelations are God's help towards ascent. My loving care has applied to you for eternity, for you have been distant from me for eternity already and therefore unhappy. During your earthly life you are oblivious to the infinitely long time before your embodiment as a human being because it lies behind you and thus it has been surmounted. And now you are taking the path across earth as a human being, unaware of the fate you are approaching. Unaware, until you voluntarily take the path to me. Only then will the danger have passed of descending again and having to cover this infinitely long path once more. And since all my love applies to you I constantly exert my influence in order to motivate you to hand yourselves over to the power which brought you into being. For it only requires your free will during your earthly progress. It can lead you back to supreme happiness but it can also result in your renewed downfall, for only your free will decides your fate in eternity. As long as this will was constrained, as long as your soul had to go through the creations of earth in a state of compulsion there was no risk of a descent, for my adversary had lost all authority over you and my love constantly pulled you higher. But now. As a human being, you are free, and my adversary therefore also has the right to influence you again, and thus you voluntarily have to resist him, you voluntarily have to take the path to me, and then you will have passed your final test of earthly life and can be liberated from every external shell. Since my love called you into being, and since this love has never diminished nor will it ever diminish, I will also always help you, I will fight for your will just like my adversary does. And I shall let all happenings approach you such that your thoughts will be directed towards me, for as soon as I achieve that you recognize me as a being of supreme perfection which loves you and only wants your happiness I will also have won you over for myself. Thus I also have to reveal myself to you, I must try to achieve that you are informed of a power which gave you life, and I have to enlighten you about the nature of this power. I have to provide you with the information about this being's reign and activity and your relationship with it, since you are blessed with intelligence, with the faculty of thought, I also constantly stimulate you to think, and I enter your thoughts myself. I direct your earthly fate in such a way that you will be able to think of me, hence I try to influence your will in every way so that it will turn to me and hand itself over to me. For I am motivated to do so by my great love for you which would like to unite itself with you again and this requires your free will. After your long development before your embodiment as a human being you are now in a state of maturity which only requires you to make use of the blessings of being human in order to achieve your goal. For every day will also offer you the opportunities to attain knowledge about your God and Creator, since every day will give you the opportunity to practice love, when you are able to carry out deeds of love which will also guarantee you correct thinking and grant you the recognition that you have to fulfill a task on earth. And considerable information about the reason for your earthly existence can be made accessible to you, and through this knowledge you can also be pushed towards me, who is imparting the information to you himself, because you must learn to recognize me in order to then also strive consciously towards me. My love will do anything so that you will bring the course of development to fruition, which shall return you to me for good, but one thing even my infinite love cannot do, it cannot force you to return to me against your will. You have to take the path of earthly life in absolute freedom, but you will be and remain infinitely happy if your will makes a free decision for me, you will no longer need to fear aggression 
for once I have won you for myself I will hold on to you and never ever leave you to my adversary. But in earthly life he is likewise struggling for your souls, and you should know this so that you can make a conscious choice, so that you will offer him resistance and take your path to me in order to help you. So that you will lay claim to the blessings of Jesus Christ's act of salvation, in whom I myself came to earth in order to pay the purchase price for your souls. For you belonged to my adversary as well since you had followed him of your own free will, and you should know that it is possible to be released from his control if you take the path to the cross and thereby show that your will has freely chosen me. And for that reason I constantly reveal myself to humanity and inform them of the reason for their earthly progress and the opportunity to find final deliverance through Jesus Christ in whom I myself brought you redemption from sin and death. Amen.